G'day, today we're going to be looking at congruency and a lot of this should be revision from year 10 uh, but if it's not then you'll be learning this for the first time. So there are basically some tests that we can do for congruency, there are four of them. So two tri triangles or two shapes are congruent if they are exactly the same and the, one, the first test is if all the sides are the same length then they have to be exactly the same triangle all right so you see in these examples here they're just in different orientations all right the second test is if two sides are the same and the included angle is the same then we would um, classify them as being sim as congruent triangles not similar but congruent exactly the same and then if we have two angles and a corresponding side then that's another proof and the last one is the right RHS so if you have the right angle a side that's common and also the hypotenuse then those two triangles have to be exactly the same now these are proofs so you have to go through a process of proving them All right, so let's do the first one let's just do a couple of examples I think it's the best way to show you right, so if we said to you in these two triangles here FD equals um, FD equals AC which is equal to five centimeters right we've got FE which is equal to CB or BC that's equal to four centimeters and then we have uh, DE which is equal to AB which is equal to 8 centimeters therefore congruent and we'd say that one is side 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 okay so you actually have to state it but then you have to state why it's going to be congruent all right so looking at the next one all right, so what we have here is um, we have some angles here. Now, if we know the angle, we need to actually find we need to find this angle down here. Okay, so angle. So we need to find this angle down here. All right, so that is angle uh, G H. I. that's going to be equal to 180 degrees take 69 take 45 so therefore if we're thinking about that angle there that's going to be um, 66 degrees 66 degrees and now we've got this side here we're thinking about what we do have we have this side corresponds to that side there we have this side over here corresponds to this side over here so therefore uh, what we have is a scenario where we have the therefore these things are congruent from side angle side now, obviously, with your proof, you have to say, say that GH is equal to uh, KJ, which is equal to 4.61. You need to say that KL is equal to HI, which is equal to um, 6.08. And you need to say that the angle, included angle, angle equals, not ang yeah, included angle is equal to 66 degrees. Right, so I've shown basically why these things are congruent, okay, which is really important. Right, now I'll we'll just move ahead to some of these ones here. So these are a little bit more obscure looking, no harder. Obviously, if that's a right angle, then that's a right angle. 
right? And we know this is a radius of a circle, so therefore they have to be uh, the same length, and then we know also that that's a common side, all right? So we can say that OC equals OA, and they are radii of circle. We can say that a, OB is common side. And we can then say that angle ABO has to be equal to 90 degrees, 180 degrees in a line. So therefore, congruent, and for this particular one, we're going to use the right angle, the hypotenuse, and a common side, RHS. All right, so that's what we're doing there. All right, so if we're doing something like, um, well, let's do this one here. Okay, so if I use the center of the circle, prove that the triangle OAB and OC are congruent. All right, so... Um, we know that these two angles here have to be what? They have to be vert they're vertically opposite. So we could say that angle AOB equals angle uh, COD. We'll call that equal to theta. Uh, vertically opposite. Well, that's important that you say that. And then we know that these links here, so A, B, uh, sorry, just go back a step with that. So we have to say that O, A equals O, B equals O, C equals O, D and we could say that they are simply, they are radii because right, that's what they are. So we've now got uh, basically two sides that are equal to so subtended by the same angle so therefore these things are going to be congruent because of side angle side. All right, so that's my proof there for that one. All right, so get the idea about some of these proofs in terms of uh, what we're doing here. All right. Um, obviously, if we were looking at this one here, now obviously I was the centre of both the circles. Prove that the triangles OAB and ODC are going to be congruent. So I won't even do the working out, just do the thinking. These are going to be equal because they are what? They are radii. Okay, these are vertically opposite. These particular angles in the center there are vertically opposite. So that there could be theta, that could be theta. All right, so um, that's true. Angles subtended by the same arc in a, in a circle have to also be uh, equal. So therefore, we could call that one the alpha, that one there's alpha. And so therefore, because we've got um, two angles and a side, a corresponding side, so this one here is going to be angle, angle, corresponding side. That's why these things are going to be congruent. All right, so it gives you a bit of an idea about the sort of things that you're looking for. The key things when you're looking at these particular types of uh, proofs is you're using things like vertically opposite, you're using allied angles, all right, they are quite uh, useful. You're using the properties of circles where we've got a semicircle. Um, so we're using obviously the radii for, for circles, that's a quite an important one there. Um, you know, they're obviously pretty obvious most of these proofs. I think the hardest thing about these things is they're actually too easy 
all right? But it is a matter of actually writing down the key information so you're justifying why you're making the decision for that. Anyway, we'll have a go at some of these yourself. Now these relate to exercise, exercise 3B. So if you want to work through these questions, like I said, you don't have to do them all, but you certainly have to make sure that you feel comfortable that you know what's going on with all these. All right, so good luck with them and catch up with me if you need some help.